Barbara. Welcome to the Sanifa Fritia Awards evening. Uh, we feel honoured to have you here and sharing this special moment with us. Um, I would like to call Stephen van der Linden to the podium to uh, welcome everybody. First of all, a special welcome to Dr. Salman Moskovitz and Barbara Manning. I'm sure everybody by now should know who they are. Um, the Sanifa exec, um, our coach Nico Bernardi, and then more important, our archers tonight their families and their friends. Um, before I forget, um, a special welcome to Nikki Dawkins, our travel agent. Um, Nikki, thank you very much for, for your hard work um, to make this dream come true. Thank you very much. I, I, tonight is a, it's a very special night for me, um, as this is most probably the last Sanifa Colors Award that there will ever be. Because as um, all of us know, by now, we are busy with the integration with SANA, and soon we will be all of us will be under one umbrella uh, as one archery association. This I truly believe would be to the advantage of archery in South Africa. Um, and the sport from here on forward could only grow bigger and improve and be better than ever before. Tonight is especially special as we actually came to the end of an era, an era that produced a huge amount of medals, world champions, world champions, and it all started in 1991, and tonight is the last Sanifa ceremony. What an honor, once again, for our Patriot team to represent our country at the 2014 IFAA World Championships. I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. Well done. You've all deserved it. You've worked hard. You've spent a lot of money to get to this night tonight. Be proud. Because you've earned your colors. Be proud when you wear that Protea badge on your chest. Because this is really truly an honor. To our new caps, there's quite a few of you tonight. Well done, guys. It's an honor. It's a great achievement. And some of you had worked seriously hard for this. I, I, I think, like Thais van Ingen, I can remember Thais, he just missed out in, in Germany, just missed out in, uh, where was it, uh, Argentina, and tonight, yes, it's your night. Um, then there's guys like my friend Vitus, he's worked very hard, at some stage he thought he's not going to make it, but yes, tonight he's here. Um, to the Protea team, thank you for your support, your loyalty, your hard work to be part of this dream. We've got two cubs as well, William and Skyler, 
well done to you. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, as we all know, our, uh, our cups cannot be awarded pro tier colours, but we've made special arrangements for them by making them their own track suits or whatever. So, well done to you as well. In a couple of years from now, you will wear that pro tier badge as well. All I can say, guys, is, you know, with these world championships, is do your best and you will be awarded. And then never forget to dream. Because most probably those dreams will come true. And what I did many years ago is I protected that dream and then went for it and go for it. And if you guys do the same thing is dream, protect your dream and then go for it and you will be awarded. Then I get to somebody very special, Mariki. What a special lady. A dearly good friend, a wonderful person. That does so much for archery. Thank you, Mariki. That's all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, guys, all I can say is good luck. Do your best. And you have to enjoy it. So enjoy tonight. This is really your night. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Um, he's dream big and uh, what an inspiration he is himself. We'll get to that a bit later. Um, we're going to start with the serving of the starters now. And once that is finished, we're going to commence with the presentation of the Britia colors. So please enjoy the starters. Well, our very first archer to receive these Britia colors um, is quite an honor for me to present colors to this guy. I actually needed two pages to update his CV. Um, he joined Sanifa in 1993. He was first capped in 1996. He participated in the 1996 WFAC USA the World Bow Hunter in South Africa, 1997 Silver, 1998 Fita Field in Austria, 1998 WFAC in New Zealand, Gold, he then participated as a Freestyle Unlimited adult. Then 2000, uh, World Field also in South Africa, 2005, World Bow Hunter, South Africa Bronze. 2008, Namibia. 2010, World Field in Germany, Silver. 2012, WFAC Argentina, Gold. And the World Bow Hunter, South Africa Gold. Um, he has won more, the National Federation, now that NFAA, very long ago, tournament in the Freestyle Senior Division nine times, and won the IFA World Field Tournament in New Zealand in 1998. Uh, he's currently the only archer in South Africa to have won the FITA Nationals, the Field Nationals, IFA, um, Indoor Nationals, and Bow Hunter Nationals. Uh, um, gold medalist at the IFA ARFOC 
1996, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Do I need to go on? No. Gold medalist for the uh, Adult Male Freestyle Unlimited Teen Style Championships in 2010 in Germany. He was then almost veteran, but not yet. Gold medalist, Field Nationals, Freestyle Senior Division 9 times from 1995 to 2009. Gold medalist, Rowan Internationals, three times, 2007 to 2009, and recently in the Freestyle uh, Veteran Style also. Uh, gold medalist, Fita Nationals, Gold medalist, Indoor Nationals. Is the current holder of the national records in field round 546, hunter round 555, the second day tournament record 1097, and the three day tournament record 1640. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce to you. Sorry? Honored to introduce to you Stefan van der Lenne, who is receiving his Britia colors for the 10th time. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone that came back said, what an awesome manager. So then, after that, we went to Argentina. And once again, Mariki. Um, I really don't have words. Just, what an awesome person to do the job. There is really nobody better. Um, there's been so many managers before, but I can tell you, uh, even for the people that uh, only met Mariki recently, definitely I promise you, we cannot, there is nobody else better than Mariki. So Mariki, well done. It's really an honor to have you up here once again. And I think when it gets the fifth time, isn't it? Five to kill, so yeah, well done. participated in the 2010 World Field in Germany where she got a bronze, 2011 AFWAC in South Africa a silver, 2011 the World 
indoor championships, the Ocean South Africa bronze, 2012 WEFAC Argentina gold, what kind of gold? Uh, 2013 AFAC Namibia gold, she's the national record holder for Hunter Round 532 and the two day round field and Hunter 1053. Congratulations, Jane. Uh, or just please remind, we, once you received your jacket, please proceed to your Aniki, where you will be signing the Code of Conduct. You will get a Code of Conduct card and a gift packet from myself and Sanifa. Our next candidate, Rika Landsberg. Rika joined Sanifa in 2007. She was first capped in 2010. She participated in the World Field uh, Championships in Germany, 2010. She obtained gold, 2011 in Omfak, uh, South Africa bronze, and she also participated in the World Indoor South Africa, where she obtained fourth position. Congratulations, Rika. Our next candidate, Herman Brink, competing in the Adult Mile Freestyle Unlimited, Eister Brink. He joined Sanifa in 2009, was first capped in 2010. He participated in the 2012 World Field Championships in Argentina, where he surprised everybody. And he was like a dark horse, but uh, yeah, he came through and he's the current world championships going to USA to defend his title. Well done. Um, he joined Sanifa in 2004. He was first capped in 2008. He participated in the world field in uh, Namibia, we got silver, 2009 Alpha in Namibia, 2010 Germany, 2012 world field in Argentina, also silver, please, Willem van Skalkberg. Willem is also um, our social captain. From previous two, he's done a good job. Next up, we have uh, Marco Janse van Vieren. Marco joined Sanifa in 2008. Five years later, he was kept last year for the World Bowhunter. And uh, this is his second time, his second cap, and his first overseas trip. So, well done. Congratulations, Marco. tonight but uh, I thought it necessary to just enlighten you with his record. Corbus Brink joined Sanifa in 2009. He was first capped in 2011. He participated in the 2011 World Indoor in South Africa Gold, 2012 World Field Argentina Silver, 
2013 World Indoor USI Gold is the IFA Indoor World Record holder of the three-day round of the indoor archery, the perfect score of 900 out of 900. He also participated in 2013 Junior World Championships in Wuhisa, China, and the 2014 World Indoor Nims in France. Uh, on behalf of um, Sanifa, I would like to also congratulate Kurbas uh, in his absence. Thank you. <laughs> Next, uh, uh, Lizette David, also part of the furniture. Um, Lizette joined Sanifa in 2006. She was first capped in 2010 participated in the World Field in Germany, Silver, 2011, FITA World Cup Stage 2, Antilla and Turkey, 2011 FITA World Championships in Turin, Italy. She participated also in the World Indoor South Africa, the IFA discipline, Bronze, the <coughs> World Field Championships 2012 in Argentina Gold, and also in the FITA World Cup Stage 3 in Upton, USA. I'd also like to congratulate uh, Lizette in her absence. Um, well done, Lizette. <laughs> and now the time has come. Our new caps. Stefan Landsberg joined Sanifa in 2007. This will be his first cap. Stefan resides in Rustenburg and is married to Rika Landsberg. And she's a world champion myself. Um, Stefan accompanied us to the 2012 World Field in Germany. His experience and determination has finally paid off after seven years of competing. Congratulations, dear son. in her first Sanifa Field Archery Tournament at the 2013 Western Cape Provincial Field Championships. She excelled in the field discipline and qualified for her field national colours at the 2014 Sunfog. Although being the rookie on the team, Heidi shows great potential in becoming one of our top archers. Congratulations, Heidi.
Next up, we have Thais Fanika. Thais joined Sanifa in 2009. This will be his first cap. He resides in Langebaan and is married to one also a Putia Archer, Amalia Fanika. Um, he participated in the Sanifa team since 2010. Uh, Germany, where as a Sanifa team member he obtained bronze. The 2011 Alpha South Africa, bronze. 2012 WFAC Argentina, bronze. Thais, all I can say is at last. <laughs> Veteran Mile Freestyle Unlimited. Uh, he joined Sanifa, oh, sorry, not 2013. Definitely before that. Andre resides in Rudapurt and has been competing in field archery tournaments for as long as we, I can remember. Um, he is an example that you are never too old to be competitive. Andres' performance has gone from strength to strength over the past years and will put any youngster to the shame. Congratulations, Andre. Um, he joined Sanifa in 2011. 
He resides in Hartebees Bordeaux and is the current South African national champion in field, indoor and 3D archery. Um, he's also obtained a gold medal at the 2013 World Indoor in the USA and the 2013 World Bow Hunter Championships in South Africa. He now sets his sights, he doesn't shoot actually with the sight, on the world field. And if successful, he will be the world champion in all three disciplines. What a champion. No sight with fingers. Wow. Respect. Well, that brings us to the end of our presentation. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the 2014 World Finals of Congratulations to all of you. Good evening, all. Can you get me at the back? Yeah. Excellent. In my training as a psychologist many years ago, I learned that the term pathological describes a person or their behavior when they behave in an extreme and unacceptable manner and have very powerful feelings which they cannot control. When you believe your own lies, it's also called pathological. This means that even you believe what you are saying, even if it's not. And so I'm reminded of this word when I visit various websites in South Africa and see that they boast both international recognition and offer provincial, national, and project colors, of course. I am further reminded of pathological uh, action and behavior when I read newspaper reports from as far as field as the Eastern Cape and the Limpopo. And I see that 13 year old little girls have been awarded Springbok colors for archery on top of it. Or that a few dozen members of a club in the Eastern Cape have awarded themselves national colors. In fact, just last month I had a uh, site of four reports, newspaper reports, where clubs were awarded both national and project colors for scores, which all of you wonderful archers that I saw on the screen a bit earlier could have shot blindfolded. Provincial, national, and project colors are a serious matter. Colors are controlled and they're registered. For people with a commercial interest to diminish the awards makes a mockery of what you have achieved and what you have achieved here today. And unlike their bogus and unlike their illegal and money-seeking colors, yours are the real thing. So no matter how they disguise the naming of colors by prefixing their name to colors or some other type of shenanigans that they come across to circumvent the law and they try to give some sort of legitimacy to these colors, the fact remains is that they have no legitimacy in law. Of course, no one else other than themselves recognize these colors and that is a mark of pathology. The good news, of course, is that pathology can be treated. Okay, so let's help them. Let's together spread the word 
that you earn your colors, the real colors, and invite those that have been exposed for their pathological lies. And get them to contact the National Federation, get them to check the register of the extract of SA colors. We all, incidentally, colors, protein, national colors are registered. In fact, if you click on our website, you'll actually see who has been awarded uh, provincial, national, in fact, sorry, the, the been awarded national and uh, protein colors. And in fact, it may even come as a shock to some of those bogus colors holders that they're not listed there. But facing reality is part of that treatment. And don't stop there, extend it to provincial colors. Yes, it will come as a shock to many that they are not registered with the provincial sports confederations as recipients. And that their colors are in fact a figment of someone's imagination. But once again, that too is part of the therapy. Your colors, on the other hand, are legitimate. There's been a proper process, hard work, and dedication. So when you compete overseas, you will be representing your country. Remember that long after your competitors have left and forgotten your name, they will remember you as the South African athlete. And that is what Protea Colors is all about. Be proud of your colors. They are the highest award that our country can impose on any athlete. Be proud because you work for them. Be proud because you earned them. And be proud because they have been awarded to you legitimately. And with that pride, Please come back from the States with a handful of medals. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to, uh, first of all, Salman, thank you very much. I think definitely our Pratia team has taken to heart what you've said. Uh, we will wear this green blazer with pride. We will honor the emblem uh, every time we compete. And uh, also to the new caps, I think they have a big challenge up ahead. They've got big shoes to fill of the predecessors. So thank you very much. We we will do so, sir. Um, next, we're going to continue with the program, and that is the uh, taking of official photographs. I would like to thank Sean now for um, being available to us on short notice. Thank you, Sean. Uh, he will also provide us with uh, portraits, uh, individual portrait photos. So after the uh, group photo, there will be individual um, portrait photos of each of the Pratia team. Thank you, Sean. Um, yes, let us take some pictures. Thank you.
beautiful prachtig. Oké, okay, nou heb ik jullie allemaal gekregen. Okay, before you do Where it came from is when I started archery. Um, I first did the hunting thingy and uh, just got my bow set to 60 pounds switchback. And uh, I was practicing in the garage because Franco did not trust me with a bow further than 10 yards. Anyway, so I started, eventually pulled it, and I don't know what happens, but the next thing, there goes the arrow, straight through the freezer, and I had some chickens in the freezer, <laughs> and it got stuck <laughs> in the chicken. Um, so yeah, needless to say, we had to eat chicken that night. So that was my first, first time <laughs> frozen chicken. So uh, the Western Cape Archers came out with this more chicken, um, whereby it is handed over from Pretia team to Pretia team. They take my chiki on, on the tour and she becomes part of the tour and when there's a reprimand, she's the first one to do it. So we asked Marku, he was from the World Bow Hunter, um, 2013 Bow Hunter. We asked him to hand it over to the social captain, uh, Willem van Spalkweig. And next, I would like to call with Nikki. Nikki, please come to the front. Nikki, just to say thank you for everything you do for us. I mean, this is my third tour, and um, I will not go any other way. So, Nikki, thank you very much for everything you do for us. And thank you, and then that, that's it. Now, done and dusted. Uh, have a safe trip back home. And for the Frutia Archers, I see you tomorrow, bright and early, 7 o'clock on the range. Uh, please wear your green practice shirts. All of you have got one now. Um, I will have the battle dress I will have with me tomorrow, so you can come collect it for me. As well as the Sanifa team, I've got all your battle dresses also. Uh, and also the national field shirts I've got. I've got a, a, a trunk full of just clothes. So please see to it, you come by my uh, car tomorrow. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Have a good time.